Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Olver from the Federation of Stadium Communities. We're the lead partner in the Grundtvig Legends project, an intergenerational project which is now entering its second year. Legends project has got three partners, Vokhochschule, an adult education college in northern Germany. The second partner is a, a private organization based in Madrid in Spain, offering health and fitness mainly through Pilates. Our third partner is in northern Turkey on the shores of the Black Sea at Biobat, quite a complex organization which has primary school, secondary school and adult education. Intergenerational learning has now begun in all four countries in rather different styles. Germany, for instance, focused on the environment. Spain is focused on health and fitness. Here in uh, the Federation of Stadium Communities, we focus on sport, of course, and the Turkish College has focused very much on traditional crafts. So it's just the medium for the message, really. The intergenerational learning is the same. It's which medium you use to actually promote the intergenerational contact. This particular intergenerational project has, has uh, a certain history uh, from other projects. It's developed out of other projects. Prior to the Legends project, we were running uh, essentially a, a three-year Grundtvig project called Teddy Bear, which was offered in Shropshire, Herefordshire and Staffordshire and ran from 2004 to 2007. And it was essentially a, an intergenerational project that involved older people who were isolated, um, often lost their partners. We approached various day clubs in small villages in all three counties uh, to actually get them involved in a possible intergenerational project. Um, the other target group was the local rural primary school, which was often quite close to where they lived. The project lasted three years. It was seen as quite a successful project. To get a third year was an indication of the success of the project. Here in uh, Stoke-on-Trent, where the Federation of Stadium Communities is based, they were developing a, a parallel programme, really, called Extra Time, which was being offered at uh, Shrewsbury Football Club, and they were also involved in intergenerational work at Port Vale Football Club. Uh, as you can see from mentioning football clubs, they were involving sport into intergenerational learning. Those two projects, Extra Time and Teddy Bear, essentially gave us a basis for launching the Grundtvig Legends project. In Shrewsbury and Swinton near Manchester, we're working on two sister projects which are working with Shrewsbury Town Football Club and Swinton Lions Rugby League Football Club. They're both intergenerational projects working to collect the archival history and memorabilia of times gone by. And as the projects progress, we're developing a series of outputs including picture packs, DVDs, a mobile museum, oral history interviews and a number of other outputs. As I say, they're, they're intergenerational projects that are working with both younger and older people um, and they're working with schools in, in and around both areas. We also have on board other partners from Age Concern, Shrewsbury Football Club and Swinton Lions Rugby League Football Club and the Supporters Trust from both clubs are also involved in the project. An interesting angle to look at it from the fan side. Uh, we tend to, over the years, think of the players' achievements, uh, forgetting how much the club itself relies on its fan base. It's turned out to be fantastic. You made a lot of new friends, you know, people you probably wouldn't have met otherwise, yeah. you know, and it's nice to hear their stories and catch up against the, the recent games as well as talking about past ones. So it's it's been a real real eye opener really. It's uplifting, if anything, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Just to oh. know that there are plenty of kids out there that were just like I was when I was a kid. Maybe not quite as bad, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed working with them. Yeah, good fun. The Grumpford Legends project uh, ties into Swinton and Shrewsbury through the, the pitch packs and we're bringing together those younger and older people from each of the areas to work together to develop a series of images that come together in a pack that can be used as a learning resource and as they develop these picture packs um, they start to get a better understanding of, of each other and of their community. Um, it's a very, very good way of bringing people together 
breaking down those intergenerational barriers and the, the stereotypes that so many of us hold about each other. This is a, a mechanism and a platform for them to, to share their joint history, look at where they've come from and, and look at where they're going to. Looking back over the two years of this project and thinking about the projects that we ran before this, it's really exciting to see how a small idea can be grown and developed in so many different places, in Shrewsbury, Swinton and soon to be in Hereford. And of course the really big opportunities that working with European partners has provided so that we can learn more about them, about their cultures and their traditions. I am Dr. Petra Haida. I am the leader of the Legend Project, which is part of the Krumpik Programme Learning Partnership in the Adult Education School Lippe West in Germany. Our Adult Education School in German Volkshochschule is situated in a rural area near the Teutoburger Forest in North Rhine-Westphalia. Under the theme of Let's Go Outside, Classes for young and elderly people took place in Leopold Sewer and Erlinghausen for the first time. Lessons outside the classroom support the motivation and willingness to learn. There followed a successful and sustainable exchange of knowledge and experience between young and elderly people. Bir şeyler öğrenebilmek, elimizdeki becerilerimizi artırabilmek, evimize, ekonomimize katkıda bulunabilmek amacıyla bu kursa geldik. Öğrendiklerimizi evimizde de uyguluyoruz. Dışarıya sipariş dikip para da kazanıyoruz. Öğretmenlerimizin katkısıyla bayağı bir şeyler öğrendik. Daha önceki bildiklerimizi de pekiştirdik. Yaptığımız ürünler de bunlar. Kalıp çıkartmayı, model uygulamayı öğrendik. Bunlarımızda çok faydası oldu. Stresimizi atıyoruz buraya gelince. Çoluk çocuğumuzla daha iyi geçiniyoruz. Her, her türlü faydası var. Öğrenmenin yaşı yok yani. Pues para Pilates Wellness and Energy ha sido una gran experiencia porque eh, nuestra actividad fundamental y, y básica es impartir clases de Pilates en los distintos estudios que tenemos en, en España. Entonces el hecho de participar en un proyecto europeo ha sido un gran reto, en primer lugar por, por lo desconocido, pero nos ha aportado un, pues una serie de valores, una serie de entendimientos eh, realmente notables para trabajar en todo el campo de la salud y bienestar, que es el marco en el cual nos queremos desarrollar. El resultado final del trabajo realizado por el equipo español en este proyecto Legends nos llena de satisfacción 
porque creemos que es un buen trabajo el que se ha realizado. Nos ha permitido conocer a dos grupos sociales tan diferenciados en la edad como son los mayores y son los jóvenes, hablando de dos temas como son la nutrición y el deporte, la salud y el bienestar. Dos temas de candente actualidad, dos temas que están presentes en la actualidad y en la vida cotidiana. Lo que más destacaría a lo mejor del trabajo del equipo español ha sido que en estos tiempos de globalidad, en estos tiempos de Internet, en estos tiempos de redes sociales donde la gente se comunica por mensajes, aquí el mensaje ha sido la palabra. Han trabajado juntos, han participado juntos, han opinado juntos, han cocinado juntos y con lo cual todo esto hace un trabajo unitario, bueno y satisfactorio. Para mí la, la valoración es, eh, personal y lo que he obtenido de, de esta participación en este programa de Grumbic ha sido, por una parte, el poder conocer más a fondo a mis compañeros en, en la empresa, porque hemos trabajado muy codo a codo y también hemos disfrutado muchísimo en, en los viajes que hemos hecho en, en las distintas movilidades para compartir y conocer las experiencias de, de otros países y también ha sido fundamental en estos distintos desplazamientos que hemos hecho a Turquía, a Alemania y, y al Reino Unido, el poder conocer lo que hacen los otros partners que participan en el programa, conocer sus ciudades, conocer todas las personas que forman parte de, de, de su entidad e intercambiar experiencias entre, entre nosotros, porque hemos tenido eh, momentos de, de trabajo, pero también momentos de, de relajación y, y esparcimiento, y para mí ha sido una satisfacción personal muy importante. Well, I think by now you've probably got a pretty good idea of what the Legends Project's about. The four countries have developed the project within their own cultures, but we're all linked together with this intergenerational strand. And all that richness is coming, going to come through to the two conferences, the mini conference in Spain and the large conference at the end of the project in Shrewsbury. We're also developing at this particular time uh, a bid as a Leonardo bid, slightly different strand of European work, Leonardo bid, it's called a transfer of innovation. It's when a group of countries have learned a lot about a particular theme and want to disseminate it throughout Europe. So we're into the second stage now. That's the key to a transfer of innovation, bringing together what you know into a package, which you can then train tutors to deliver. And we have the ideal background to make that work.